With its headquarters located in Hong Kong, the Chinese firm Rowborn has gained recognition for its innovative developments in the realm of 5G-enabled humanoid robots. The company was started by Mark Mack and specialized in creating innovative solutions that have a significant impact on many different industries, notably the healthcare sector. Roborn has developed a range of unique robots that do difficult tasks with cutting-edge technology. Their robots can adapt to various environments and do complex jobs with great precision since they are outfitted with sensors and machine learning algorithms. These machines are capable of performing a wide range of tasks, such as remote control, medical monitoring, and even surgery. Using 5G technology is one of the main characteristics of Roborn's robots. 5G greatly improves the efficiency and accuracy of the robots by enabling real-time information processing and reception, thanks to its fast data transfer speeds and minimal latency. This is especially vital in medical applications, where accuracy and promptness of reaction are often vital. Additionally, Roborn is putting a lot of effort into enhancing human-robot interaction. Their humanoid robots are easy to operate and intuitive to use since they can recognize and understand gestures, facial expressions, and vocal orders. Atlas, a robot made by Boston Dynamics, was tested in a hydraulic form. The compilation consists of both new and old film, including sequences when Atlas dances while holding a suspension strut. In all scenes, Atlas independently grabs, lifts, carries and places objects of various shapes, sizes and weights. Among them you can see a kettlebell, an air compressor, a car muffler and a wooden stool. For larger objects like the muffler or an item resembling a car wheel, Atlas uses both hands, while smaller items like the kettlebell are easily handled with one hand. For more than 10 years, Boston Dynamics has been working on the experimental humanoid robot Atlas using hydraulic actuators. However, the business declared in April 2024 that the second generation of Atlas robot, which would be driven by electric motors, will take the place of the hydraulic version of the robot. The business claims that the electric Atlas will have a range of movements greater than that of humans and will be stronger, more nimble, and more maneuverable than the hydraulic version. The first foot prosthesis that replicates bone movements has been developed by scientists. Many people have already been able to walk again thanks to prosthetic legs, although the great majority of them remain stiff. Scientists from Italy have been working on a prosthesis that can adapt to uneven surfaces, similar to how natural walking occurs on forest paths, pebbles and uneven slopes. As a result, they have created a functional foot prosthesis that has been successfully tested on patients. The prosthesis weighs 450 grams and can withstand a load of up to 100 kilograms. Softfoot Pro consists of five parallel chains connected to each other with an attachment to a titanium heel. The front segments of each chain mimic the movement of the toe phalanges, while the rear segments mimic the metatarsal bones. The creators see great potential for the Softfoot Pro in patient applications. The prosthesis is comfortable, water-resistant, and adapted for use on various natural surfaces. By 2040, one-third of the U.S. Army will consist of robotic machines. The share of autonomous equipment and tools controlled by artificial intelligence in the military sector will significantly increase. According to U.S. Army General Mark Milley, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, fundamental shifts are expected in the armed forces of various countries over the next 15 years. Robotic machines will replace human warriors in greater numbers. Advanced robotic technologies are being developed by the armed forces of major world powers. These technologies include drones, sniper robodogs, self-propelled units, and other equipment that can be used for battle, reconnaissance, medical evacuation, transportation, and other critical military missions. Soldiers and robots are working together on joint drills. The quick adoption of deadly weaponry with instantaneous decision-making power prompts worries about the rise of the infamous robotic murderers. The military usually responds to these worries by promising to involve humans in the decision-making process and to make sure that a person makes the ultimate conclusion. General Milley also used this argument, emphasizing that this issue will become more acute in the next decade and people will have to find a way to address it. The country that optimizes these technologies for military use will gain a significant, possibly even decisive advantage in armed conflicts. Baxter is a revolutionary industrial robot developed by the American company Rethink Robotics. 
it is designed to collaborate with humans on production lines and in other industrial environments. The capacity of Baxter to securely interact with people without the need for protective boundaries is one of its primary features. Baxter has two arms that can move in seven different ways, giving it a great deal of versatility and accuracy when doing tasks. It is capable of performing a wide range of production tasks, including material handling, testing, assembly, and packaging. Baxter can carry out accurate and repetitive tasks with the help of integrated cameras and sensors, and it can automatically adjust to changes in its surroundings. Baxter can carry out additional unusual activities in addition to its main industrial duties. Its ability to make coffee, for instance, demonstrates its adaptability and potential application in a variety of contexts. The British company Engineered Arts has created the robotic platform Sosabot Me, which has potential applications in public spaces, self-service kiosks, information centers, and more. Sosibot Mini features a torso with an electronic head mounted on a mechanized neck. The robot is equipped with an internal computer, a high-quality camera capable of measuring the distance to objects in its field of view, a microphone, and an audio system. Furthermore, the robot can reply with a synthesized voice and has partial understanding of speech commands. The inventors took an intriguing tack while creating the head of the Sosibot Mini. The translucent plastic face has features for the lips, chin, eyes, nose, and other facial features. An embedded projector projects the desired image onto this mask. With the use of this system, the robot may display any face from its database and quickly transition between various gender identities, age ranges, nationalities, and more. A 5G humanoid helper robot was recently unveiled by Japanese businesses NS Solutions and NTT Docomo at the Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. This cutting-edge robot showcased 5G technology's capabilities, such as ultra-low latency connectivity that allows it to precisely mimic the operator's actions in real time. This technology enables the robot to carry out intricate tasks remotely with a high level of coordination and precision. The robot demonstrated its ability to give accurate and timely remote control by performing Japanese calligraphy during the MWC demonstration. The robot's ability to respond promptly to commands from the operator stems from its use of advanced technologies, which provide stable and dependable communication. This achievement is a component of NTT Docomo's broader strategy to deploy and commercialize 5G technology which is expected to drastically alter many aspects of our everyday lives and work. Please share your thoughts about 5G humanoid robots in the comments below. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you like the video. I'm going to miss you.